touch my electric soul for the hidden man within. Slip to the new black gold, there's a heartbeat under my skin. Search my electric soul for the hidden man within. Looking for deep ends of you. This stream should be a bit longer. The other one was cut short because the area didn't want me to be streaming. This one should be good. Oh, hey, Rose, what's up? How are ya? I didn't expect anyone to be in the chat yet. <laughs> what's up? Good morning. Wait, do I still have a Dovey open in the background? No, but I do have Spotify open. I was like, something's making me lag. My computer can't handle it. <laughs> Sorry about ending yesterday's stream short. Ari did not improve of the streaming with me. But he's sleeping now, so we should be able to stream for a bit longer today. I'm making a thumbnail right now. After the thumbnail, we'll go back to the drawing that I was working on yesterday. No, I need it. No, I need it. Is the music too loud, by the way? Can you hear me? Should I turn the music down? I'm gonna- Yeah, it looks decently loud. I'm just gonna turn it down like a little bit more just in case. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna use the- I had a really cool conversation last night with another art streamer. And they drew me and it was awesome. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good morning. Am I dropping frames? No, I'm not dropping any frames. Bit rate seems good so I feel like I feel like my computer is laggy. Um, let me look at the bit rate on Twitch. No, the bit rate on Twitch is good too. I don't know. I, don't know, I guess I'm full of it. I'm crazy. Everything's fine, and I'm just panicking for no reason. It might be my tablet. I, I haven't restarted my computer in a couple days, so... I might be mad. <laughs> I've been keeping on top of my VOD channel, and I plan on to keep on keeping on top of it. So... If you ever miss a stream or anything, my YouTube channel links to my vlog channel. And I'm uploading the stream VODs the same day or the day after. I 
I had fun recording. Well, we're not finished recording. We still have some to record. But I was saying I had fun recording the Christmas advent calendar and stuff like that with Aria this year. I need a new drawing tablet. I was thinking about getting a Huion drawing tablet next. Because they have some good tablets with screens. Like Cintiqs. For like half the price. Less than half the price of like a Wacom. Although, the one thing that those don't have is like the spinny wheel, which I'm so used to. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it looks interesting. I just realized I didn't shade Harry at all. <laughs> I'm very smart. We usually do that first, so it's weird. So I'm gonna shade him with a red color. Ariel always gets warm shadows. Cause he's got a warm personality.
Okay, I'm gonna export this thumbnail. Uploading the thumbnail I just drew, and then we can go on to the fun stuff that I was working on yesterday. That got cut short. <laughs> Why is this fill bucket being crap, dude? Like, why? Why is there freaking. Okay, let me see. They can have it expand. My stream buffering. Keep gaining and losing viewers, making me self conscious. <laughs> I need to just turn the viewer number off. How do I do that on mobile? How do I turn off the viewer number on mobile? I don't know how to on mobile. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to live the anxiety. Crap, what is this? Is it because of the background? Yeah, I'm gonna like undo everything. I'm still getting that like layer of non existent pixel. Um Hmm. Well, we're still doing it. Why are we having this issue? Here. We'll do reference layer. We'll set this as the reference layer. Let's see if that helps. Um, it kind of helped. Yeah, that made it a bit better. Okay. It's like, I was like, why am I having a problem? Yeah, we don't seem to have as many random pixels not being filled. We still have a couple, but like, better than before. <clears throat> so. That should help a lot. Okay. 
So I don't know why these aren't filled. It's because it's like random little corners. And somebody pointed out yesterday that there wasn't a string attached to the knee or whatever, so let's fix that real quick. Pew! That's way too thick. Whoa. Oh, it didn't register. <laughs> well, my numpad must be off. There we go. Pew! That's too thin. to fix everything. Just that little thing to fix. Got it fixed. We should be good now. I'm gonna combine these. I'm feeling risky. I'm just gonna do all the colors on the same layer today. Why not? Should be easy enough. The other day someone was like, I like watching you draw, it's like you're coloring your own color and book and it's like, yeah, pretty much. I would love to make my own coloring book one day. Give treats to my pet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sure. Do you guys want to see him? I'm ugly. But I can turn on my cam. Where's my cam? Where's my cam, Lama? There we are. Hello. So I got some of these greenies. He loves these greenies. Come here. Come up here. Come on. Up up. Come on. He's like, I just woke up. I can't reach him. Yeah, come here. Up up. 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 Yeah. Alright, he ate his treats. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's a good boy. He's a fluffy boy. This is Thor. He's my beautiful, handsome baby boy. He's huge. I think he's part main coon. It's like he's chunky also, but he's also just very big. He's a good boy. 
You're a good boy, huh? You're a good boy. When I get some more stuff for my setup, I want to get like a cat bed and tower and put it next to my desk and then maybe have it on webcam just for him and have like a cat cam. <laughs> There. There's a cat in the webcam. <laughs> He's my good boy. But how are you doing, Sal Pal? I realized I didn't actually ask you that. <laughs> Where are you going? Are you leaving me? He's rubbing the computer now. He's headbutting the computer. He's like, yeah, I loved you, Mr. Laptop. <laughs> What are you doing, Thor? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? He's like, duh, I'm a good boy. You don't have to end. Yep, and he's taking off. He's leaving the table. I think I'm gonna just like keep my bandana on. <sighs> my face cam and chat are right over each other, I'm pretty sure. Um, where is the chat? Chat. I think I can move chat over a little bit. And the camera. Move over. Okay. I'm gonna make the camera small. You don't need to see me, right? <laughs> Tiny camera. God, I don't know how to move everything. What are you knocking off, Thor? Huh? Like, have tiny art scrolling. <laughs> you can't see anything like that. Ugh. Guys, how do you do things? Here, I'm gonna move the art scroll behind everything. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Um. behind everything. I'm gonna make it bigger. What's that Chinese coin? What? Where's that Chinese coin? In one of boxes? No, it's, it's up on top there. Yeah. It was? I don't know. What do you do? Use it as a quarter? But um, anyway. Like I was saying. <laughs> Hello, Olivia. How's it going? I'm moving some stuff around on my Obia. Because <laughs> I turned my face cam on. I don't know. I'm working on a drawing that I was making yesterday. My stream got cut short. But yeah, how are you today? You're all right. You don't have the. You didn't have the best day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope that you can feel better. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. My grandpa's looking for some Chinese coin. I'm pretty sure I put it on the table over there. But 
Maybe it ended up back in my hand. No, I don't have it. But, um, do you want to talk about what's wrong? Or... It's okay, you don't have to. I'm just still offering to you. There we go. I am going to be moving next week. Or Friday, I guess. Not today, Friday, but next Friday. Um, so I'm going to be busy packing in chunk this week. I need to get a whole bunch of boxes and stuff. So that's fun. I'll finally have my own bedroom. So just school stress. Uh, what year are you in? It's like that's gotta be tough. I haven't been in school in like four years. So. Going on five actually. <laughs> but yeah, school can be very hard. Whether it's friend stress or class stress. Not easy. Also, do you like face cam on, or should I turn face cam off? Like, I feel like people prefer face cam, but I'm fugly. So my stream might be better if I just leave it off. You don't mind? Yeah. And like, I'll show my face. I've shown my face before. But to be honest, I just kind of enjoy wearing a bandana. It makes me a little bit less self-conscious. And like, I've shown my face in videos before and stuff like that. But this is the bandana I've been wearing at work and junk like that because of Corona. So I just kind of wanted to keep wearing it, I guess. I'm still figuring out how I want to lay out my stream. Like, I want to have the old art scrolling, but I want to fit chat and like the log of stuff and everything in there. I'm still figuring it out. So I'm guessing you're doing schoolwork today? I was gonna ask what you're up to. Yesterday, I was drawing this and I was having like a great stream and it got cut short. And I ended with nine viewers, like a crazy person. Like, why would I do that? Like, oh yes, because Ari told me to. <laughs> but I actually have been super happy lately with how the streams have been going. Even if it's like not a lot of people, I've been happy to have people show up. It's really nice. 
Don't feel self-conscious, who cares what you look like yourself and that you are people shouldn't care. Yeah, it's like... Obviously you can tell I'm a large person, I'm obese, whatever. Um, I get fat shamed a lot <laughs> past few times and it's like... I've had people be like, congratulations, you've saved me. I'm suddenly gonna not be fat anymore. <laughs> like I've been this way my entire life and I'm not diabetic I'm anemic but I'm not diabetic and like I've talked to my doctor about crap and shit like that it's like I don't know strangers come in and they're like oh I'm a healthcare professional I know exactly what's going on you're late <laughs> it's just some crap I deal with but um the bandana gives me confidence. <laughs> but maybe I'll just like bite it and put it down. And it's funny too, because lately, especially at my uh, my real job, like working at the liquor store, I've been getting a lot of compliments on my looks and crap like that. Here, I should turn on the overhead light. You probably can't even like actually see me. It's a big light. But um. You know, I, I have such mixed feelings because I've been getting compliments from people like in real life and then online I feel so like judged and like, like I'm nothing. Like, You did some maths and I struggle with it. I've been having this test this week and I have one next week too. Um, what kind of maths? Is it like geometry or algebra or like calculus? I actually used to be really good at maths. Um, I was like a year ahead or something like that. And I really liked the uh, chemistry as well. Science and math are my thing. My worst subject was English. I'm very bad at grammar. I, I'm just bad. I don't know, just math, I struggle because I'm dyslexic. Yo, I feel you there, actually. Holy crap. I had to drop a economics course or some sort of business course because the program we were using was way too unforgiving for dyslexic people. I would type the number in, and once you type the number in, it's like locked, you can't change it. And I would get it transposed, and everything would be wrong. Not just like the thing, everything after it would be wrong too, because the numbers don't match up. All because my dyslexic ass keeps putting a three and a four switched or something like that. And luckily, like I said before, I was good at math, so I actually had enough credits where I could drop the crap class and still pass high school. So, I don't know how the school grade, like, grade level works in other countries, but I was 15 when I skipped the class. Because I had another one. Like, I did pre-calculus and I did intro to trigonometry or something like that so I had like double math classes I guess and I took AP chemistry so I didn't need the economics course plus I kind of kind of like hated the teacher I'm not gonna lie okay, I kind of hate this one I'm gonna go look for a song without voice. Because songs without voice are better. <laughs> but yeah. So, what is your favorite subject then? Your good thing is art, music, and drama. Oh, okay. So you have a uh, strong art brain. I've been told I'm weird. 
because I'm good at science and math and I'm okay at art. <laughs> I guess usually it's like one or the other. You're either right brain or left brain. And here I am. Kind of both. It's like my art teacher wanted me to go to art school. But instead, I was like, I'm gonna try to be a chemist. And that didn't work out. Not because I wasn't smart enough, but because nobody actually prepared me for college. It was way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. And I lost interest. I honestly think university is kind of a scam. A lot of jobs require you to have a degree, but they don't pay you enough for said degree. And then a lot of people who end up getting degrees end up working at like McDonald's anyway. Honestly, it's dumb. They should just go back to doing trade schools or something. Especially here in the United States, the cost for going to university is way too high. It is not worth. It's like I regret going to going to university. It just caused me debt that I didn't need. It's most of which is paid off by now. But still, it was a mistake. <laughs> Like, my brother withdrew from high school, and he's in better shape financially than I am. So it goes to show. However, I think I've been turning things around lately. So that's good. to be in the drama club. I only had the class freshman year, but I volunteered to help the drama club. I painted backdrops and I was a backstage ninja. And by that I mean I wore all black and moved set pieces. Yep, you're bad at all the subjects, but I'm okay at French and science. I mainly like the ones that are easy for me, that is art and stuff like that. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah. I was in a few different like creative classes and courses. Like, I was in band for a while, and then I eventually quit band to like pursue more just like art classes. So I took, took photography, I took intro, I took intermediate, I took a course on mixed media where we ended up doing things from like glass bead making to like making silver rings to stained glass like a whole bunch of different stuff and i'm very fortunate that i had a really nice art teacher who was very passionate about his job and even spent like some of his own money to give us the uh, experience of like working with different stuff it was really cool um in the eighth grade so when I was 13, I got an award from a local art institution, a local uh, gallery and stuff like that. I got an award called the Susan Van Waring um, Award for Art Excellence. And the piece that I got the award for was framed and is permanently hung in my middle school. And then, I was a part of another exhibit 
another local thing called the Jordan River Art Council where I did a project for one year. I had a sketchbook and everything I wanted to draw, I drew in that sketchbook. So pencil drawing, ink drawing, mixed media, painting, sketches, full fudge, like projects, things that I drew. If they weren't in there, I glued in there. That was really fun. And then, you might not be able to tell now, but I used to only draw like realism. So like, realistic pencil drawings, and, which some people get might get mad at me for saying this, but I think drawing realistically is the easiest kind of drawing that you can do. Because all you gotta do is look at something and copy it. But when it comes to like, cartoony stuff, you actually gotta like, imagine it yourself. And like, yeah, it might be kind of simplified, but it, like, it's hard. Are you not from the UK? No, I'm from the United States. Um, I live in Michigan. I live- I'm basically Canadian. I'm really far up north. So... I'm like a couple hours from Canada. I could drive there. Like... <laughs> um... Oh yeah! So luckily I've had lots of art experience. You are good at art? Well thank you. Thank you so much. I try. I know a bunch of different styles, but I only ever use like a few. Like, um, this style that I'm currently drawing in, I like to call a mix between manga and American tune. So it's definitely like Japanese manga inspired, but it has a lot of aspects of American tune. So it's like some weird middle ground between it. And Aerie had a name for it, I don't remember what he called it. But yeah, this is my like personal style. And then there's like a different tune style I developed just for Aerie as well. And then, like I said before, I can draw realistically also. So, like, realistic portraits and stuff like that are easy. Like, I think I struggled more trying to learn how to draw cartoon and stuff than I did ever doing realism. Like, I may be an artist, but I'm not that creative. <laughs> like, I, I like coming up with concept art for, like, other people. Because they can just tell me everything that they've been thinking of and dreaming of, and then I can just draw it. But like, I'm so bad at coming up with my own ideas. And like, every time I do come up with an idea, and I get excited about it, I find out that like, somebody else has already done that. <laughs> and then I feel real sad. But it's okay. <laughs> and I keep trying or whatever. some practices on creativity like using a character prompt generator or something but yeah have I ever told you guys about these characters about the two people I'm currently drawing have you guys ever heard anything about them it's like because I feel like I draw them a lot without ever actually telling people who they are it's like <laughs> Keep it right. 
I need to turn my phone brightness up. I can like barely see the chat. It's all the way down. That's probably why. There we go. It's like, ooh, after we move, I'm gonna like get a new monitor. It's like right now I'm using a laptop. I would love to get like an actual desktop computer. Still too great. Um, oh my god, you see that? You see that right there? Where that like cuts out like that? That's because my tablet's old. <laughs> it's dying. It's like losing sensitivity in the middle. Oh my god. It's starting to make me angry. <laughs> my tablet is like three or four years old, which is about like the lifespan of a Wacom tablet. I am so creative, I think it's part of my dyslexia because I find things creative easier than anything else. See, I call bullshit on that because I'm also dyslexic and I'm not creative. <laughs> it's like, I read things wrong and transpose things all the time, dude. Uh. Maybe you're ADD. <laughs> With the dyslexia. <laughs> like, man, I just struggle with mine. Computer, I'd like to draw today. Do I have like some weird program open in the background? No? Okay. I also haven't dropped any frames, but it feels like I'm lagging and I don't like it. Like, why am I lagging? Use a blur tool and soften up highlights. Man, I thought mornings were good for streaming, but apparently not. Because apparently I'm just struggling. That's fun. Oh yeah, how's the new chat work? Uh, like, is the box too big? Does it go over the art? I don't know. Oh, no, it's not that bad. It's not that big. It looks fine. I think it's because some people it's easy, some people don't. Just people differently? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I'm just dumb. <laughs> I'm just a struggle of a person. That's all. Let's try using... not that one. It's like a shiny hairbrush. Ah, oh, it's right here. Let's try using the shiny hairbrush. Wow. You have to go for dinner? Okay, well have a great night. Enjoy your dinner. I don't know how long I'll be streaming, but I might be around. Thank you for stopping by, though. Very nice of you.
I don't think it fits this style super well. Maybe I should put something shiny in the made outfit too. Maybe make it look like it's turning into plastic or something. I don't know. I do feel like I just need to like put some sort of highlight on it. And then we're pretty much done with him. We can move on to coloring the ghost. Haha, uh -huh, I see a line that needs to be gotten rid of. Yeah. 
Oopsie doopsie. Why is that feeling that? Why is that feeling that? What is not? <sighs> I'm gonna stop making this a reference layer. Ha <laughs> ha. Where is it not connected? Back. I think I genuinely get more videos when I don't have face cam. How sad is that? <laughs> Usually they tell you the opposite. They're like, oh no, you gotta have face cam. So people won't interact with you. No. They really do that. Seems that there is a layer of weight on everything.
Oh my god, it won't stay open. Just open. My art program is kind of triggering me today. I don't know if it was like a recent update and it's being weird or what, but... Oh boy!
Oh, I'm probably gonna end the stream soon, but thanks for stopping by. But I'll post. <laughs> no, you can't. Why? Nobody's been here. I mean, Olivia was here, and Sal Pal stopped by. But <laughs> nobody's freaking watching, dude. Last night I was streaming drawn the same thing and I had nine viewers and it was great and then Ari was like oh I need stream man so I did and now I ain't got nobody yeah she stopped by and made me give treats to my cat and then Olivia was here telling me about her day Good luck, by the way. I know you'll do great, so... My cat's working everything up. My cat likes to lay on the keyboard, which is fine. It's cute, whatever. Sometimes he pushes keys that make art harder. So I want to say thank you to those who stopped by the stream today. A few people who did really make a difference for me. And I'm sorry for complaining. But you gotta understand, it's super demoralizing when I have a good stream and there's like 9 or 10 people here. And then the next day I draw the same exact thing. It's like, and there's only two views and it's like... Bro, what am I doing wrong? I tried doing face cam and I think I genuinely lost viewers. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. But. I'm trying. Maybe I just shouldn't end my stream when he tells me to. I'm just gonna copy the P. So that's exactly the same.
There we go. Export this, and I think that's gonna be today's stream. Another short one. But yeah, thanks for the support, guys. I'll see you in another sweamy weemy. Remember to check out the VOD channel. I'm trying to end my stream, but my cat is on my keyboard. All right, see ya.